Hello, hello. Just a quick update on the Iceland eruption. It's now going on for several days. Started 16th of uh, March in the evening, and now it is a late afternoon, 22nd of March. And the eruption has, of course, uh, decreased in intensity, but it is still going on. And let me share my screen with you. So hopefully you can see that now. So this is the multi-view um, that is offered from Iceland. And there we see that there's a still a little row of craters that's uh, actually developing and erupting. And this is where lava is emitted. Two of them seem to become more dominant now. So these two seem to be the strongest. The intensity of uh, the eruption and the volume of magma that's erupting is decreasing, but it is still going on. There's also a gas plume coming up. And uh, let's quickly go into a little more detail. This is a nice view. I like this one. There you see the little crater row that's developing. So most of the lava comes from these two craters, and you can actually just about anticipate a little bit of movement here. If you look very carefully, this is a very well, shallow angle here, so you don't see it very well, but this is where lava is slowly moving on the surface of the previous lava, on the older lava flow from the last few days. And there's also potentially some flow in the lava flow. There's some movement of, I guess, semi-viscous material in the lava field itself. If we look at the map, and this is now the webpage of the Iceland Met Office, the official source, of information here. This is from yesterday. And their average discharge rate is 14.5 uh, meter cubed per second. And uh, the area now covers 5.6 square kilometers approximately. And uh, this is a lower rate than uh, at, the, uh, at the beginning of the eruption. Here is an aerial view of the little crater row with these two northerly ones being the most dominant one. The map here is very interesting. We can have a little look at the map and uh, it's coming up just now. So the crater row is up here and uh, the lava is flowing or has been flowing um, towards the west, towards the Swartz Engi power plant, but uh, it's flowing basically on the previous lava from earlier in the year and it's still outside the barriers here. So if we look at the southerly flow, this is where things get a little bit more intense. This is a thickness color scale. And here you see the lava is getting rather thick here. It's not actually flowing down here at the coast anymore. That tongue seems to have stopped migrating for now at least, which is good because otherwise it might flow down to the coast here and there it could interact with the water to create some small steam explosions and also some potentially toxic fumes and gases that could blow into the various settlements, but hopefully it would blow out on the ocean. But there's a tiny little settlement here and that could actually be in the way. So uh, the other issue is that uh, here, the thickness of the lava is increasing at the barriers here. And uh, this is actually a bit of an issue because there we may find that uh, the lava is actually becoming uh, a problem. The barriers could actually be overflown. So here's some news here. Reykjans Volcano Update, protective barrier level ordered to be raised uh, because overflow may be an issue and may enter the town. And um, if we look at uh, the various images here, so here is the crater row that goes down, and this is the source of the information, as I just said. But uh, hopefully this is not gonna happen. Some people predict that this may, may happen tonight if uh, lava outpouring continues at the same rate. So hopefully the raising of the barriers will keep up with the lava level outside the barriers. And uh, the last uh, bit of news is that uh, I was quite amused by this. Uh, the former president of Iceland uh, sent out a message that fishing continues in Grindavik, so there's still some brave souls that are going out fishing, and uh, they had a considerable, considerable catch here in Grindavik, as he says. So let me bring you back to the uh, rather stunning view of the crater row, and uh, this is where I'd like to close. Hopefully the intensity will not pick up, but 
there is now a situation where we have to consider that there may be a semi-continuous, a steady flow of lava coming from the small crater row at Sundnukur. And uh, this may mean that the eruption could continue for a few days longer and potentially be something like on the order of several weeks, like we see, like we saw, for example, last summer at the Little Iruta eruption or the summer before in 22 at the Meradali eruption. So I'll stop sharing and I say thank you for your attention. Hopefully things will not get worse, but better. But as I said, there is a risk now that uh, the lava barriers could be overflowing. And then of course we have lava inside the barriers and that means there could be some damage to Grindavik. Let's hope it doesn't get to that point. Thanks a million, all the very best.